everybody. Chuck and Stacy here with uh, BL Buzz Weekly and Demos That Rock. And today we have another uh, demo spotlight video for you guys. And we're excited about this. Yes. One. Um, we have uh, Donald James with us today, all the way from New York City, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. New York. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, how you doing, buddy? Hi, Donald. Good, good. Really eager for this. Uh, me too, me too, and us too. And Stacy and I were uh, were talking about. In fact, I was just talking to you about. It. I'm gonna let everybody know because they need to know this. So Donald, you know, we've been tracking a whole bunch of demos. Uh, literally, we've done you know commercials and in show narration, trailer. We just finished doing imaging, radio imaging, and we are recording now so that you guys can check out the process of recording a freaking professional demo with an awesome talent. Yes, uh, from home because it's all remote. Uh, we're recording promos. And not only are you going to hear Donald do great and maybe flub a few things, which is totally <laughs> cool. Um, but at the end of this video, you're going to get to hear Donald's promo demo 100% fully done with music, sound effects, and the whole deal, which is one of the cool things yes. about these spotlight videos that you don't just get like, we don't leave you hanging, right? We start from like zero, zero and we leave you at 100% yes. done. Time, the time. For sure. Capsule, yeah. So Stacy, by the way, this is my partner in crime, Stacy J. Aswad, who's freaking awesome. Uh -huh. um, Stacy does all the scripts for all of our demos, as you guys out there know. And you always have great questions for everybody. So uh -huh. ask Donald a few <laughs> questions because I'm not nervous. No, not at all. They're a little not light. Be because you know what, <laughs> Donald? You would not be here doing this if it wasn't your time and you weren't ready because we Thank don't do that. We don't take people into this shoot until they're ready. So you've earned your spot here. Thank and you. we're just here to play and bring out the best in you and discover things about you and us and, and share with you guys watching the process. And hopefully you'll get some inspiration from watching and, and learn some things. That's our hope. Um, so Donald, I just want to ask you, I mean, you've been doing this for a minute. You have an engineer an audio engineer background just tell us like how did you get how did you get into voiceover how did you get here um i i did a million different jobs uh from when i was really young and uh whenever there was a radio on someplace i always felt that i was on the wrong end of that radio i was listening to it instead of the voice coming out of it and so back in 85 i uh landed a first gig in radio i did radio till 91 and then um I, I guess this might be a funny story. One day while I was going to my inbox to get whatever stuff at the radio station, the VP and GM of the station slapped me on the back and said, how long are you going to do this crap for? And he didn't say crap, but I'll, I'll, I'll make it that way. And I was really perplexed. And he said, why don't you want to do commercials and promos and all that kind of stuff? So he told me to follow him. And this was a really uh, fortunate situation for me, serendipitous in the sense that he walked me down to the television side of this um, uh, complex that I was working in, introduced me to some producers there. And within a few days later, I was being hired to do some retail television spots. And very quickly, I learned more about the process and, and all that's involved with doing freelance uh, stuff. And then back in, it was March 31st of 91, plus or minus a few hours, I left radio to just do freelance voiceover work. So I've been doing freelance VOs since then. However, during that time, the first four years, I also had a chance to do some um, uh, swing production engineering for the radio and television place that I was at. And that was a great uh, experience as well. And I really, really fell heavy for the uh, recording process. And so that has obviously been an asset in um, having that background as well and enjoying the process of recording, as well as knowing to separate the, uh, draw the line between having great gear, trusting the gear, and just performing rather than uh, the way some people would be very influenced sometimes uh, if the mic was too close to them. And so um, I don't mean to go off on a tangent on that, but there were a lot of benefits from that. Yeah. Beautiful. No, it's great because we know now in the business that obviously we are not in the same place. You're recording on your end. You have mm -hmm. to have that um, capacity to perform and engineer and uh, dial all that in. And a lot of the times produce and yes. direct, right? Yes. When you're yeah. Can you offer any maybe 
hope for people that maybe are feeling intimidated by the fact that they have to do everything now? If someone doesn't think about uh, or hasn't related to uh, being the engineer, it really is not all that difficult. And especially today, there are quite a few people who are really giving away free information, a lot of information, and um, um, sort of uh, a walkthrough with how to set a studio up together. What's really important is having a great space. Um, because you can have the best gear in the world, but if um, your space is compromised, that will compromise everything. It'll it'll devalue every attempt to uh, give an impression of yourself. There's only so many steps that you actually do right. as an engineer that are like so easy to learn. So once you learn those, then you're on automatic pilot. Now you can just be talent, you know? And right. unless your studio is mobile, you don't have to dial in things each time Exactly. It's, it's already set up. There's a template. I want to know, with your background, everything that you've done through the years, what got you to the point where you said, you know what, I'm going to redo not just one or two demos. I'm going to redo a whole flock of demos here. And and because I, I actually didn't ask you this, but why did you why did you choose Stacy and I and Demos at Rock to be the people that you would trust to do that? Um, well, when things are going well, you don't think too much about uh, promoting or expanding because you're just feasting on everything coming in. And um, I realized, especially with COVID and the retainers that I lost, it, it really uh, had a, an effect on me with uh, work that I had that I was just taking for granted that, okay, what do I need to do with this extra time that I have? to get things going again. And it was a really sobering realization that it's been about five or six years since I've had any new demos and that's forever in this business. So I realized I needed to get something new put together um, with the help of somebody else who's objective. And um, in the past five or six years, um, there's been more life experience. I hear a difference in my voice now. And also instead of offering, uh, if I if I were to give a demo that I would put together, there, there would inevitably be some stuff that would likely sound like what people already know about me. And I wanted a totally fresh start. And the only way to really do that was to leave whatever I've done in the past behind and really show something new, not only with the way that I interpret the way things are trending now, but with um, being uh, directed by uh, somebody who's in the know and um, able to, to direct me in that same way. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, the beauty is, is that once something's out there, it's never gone. So <laughs> what you put out there, people, because you might have moved on, but it's still out there. So, yeah. Yeah. So post with caution. Oh, my God. That's okay. funny. So let's get to some nuts and bolts here. Let's do let's talk about tell everyone what you're recording on your mic just tell us a little bit about your booth your daw all of that your your okay um well i i have more than anybody needs um yeah. uh, but that's because i'm enamored with all these toys uh what i'm going to be using today is the sennheiser 416 i also have a neumann u87 um talk about being cavalier i also have a 67 but oh, I've, i'm <laughs> usually <laughs> i'm usually on the um 416 and we're going to be on that today especially since we're doing promos and we did imaging just before this uh the 416 is going into a dw fern vt1 which has been my main pre for about 22 years it is a pre and nothing but a pre uh and then uh, this particular signal chain i'll be going through uh, an empirical labs distressor but barely touching the signal i leave the processing to you but the reason why it's in line is just to catch those stray peaks on some reads and uh, from there it goes to a lynx helo which is my a to d and uh, then into what's the an computer. A to, what's an a to d for the people that oh, don't know analog to digital digital to analog converter it, you, you showed me he sent me a picture of his of his rack <laughs> of his voiceover <clears throat> rack and there are so many toys in there that I was like, okay, now you know that when we record, I'm going to want close none to of it. All. Yeah. None of it. He's like, what? I was like, yes, turn it all off. And, yeah, yeah. and no, we didn't. He doesn't really Fantastic. use all of that at the same time. But 
and everything that you are using, like you said, is it, it, it's just very, 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 below. nobody would even know that you Little were seasoning. using it. It's just something that you're doing to help the final product. Uh, the booth is uh, from vocalbooth.com. I got this uh, oof, a long time ago, but it's a simple four by four booth. So it's not a lot of space. I've got some Oralex uh, four inch foam in it with some bass traps because of the resonance that I have in my voice. Uh, without the bass traps, it was um, boomy. Like, wow. yeah, way too boomy. Uh, the DAW is Steinberg Wave Lab. That's my main one. And uh, I also have Soundforge, Sony Soundforge. Well, all the gear lovers watching, you have just gotten some major ear candy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can for go those on. of you that are not or <laughs> are. Go on, he says. We will have to maybe maybe tell you me. We will do a separate podcast yeah. with. But and those of you that have a little more trepidation about it, it can be as simple as simple can be because at the end of the day, you have to deliver the performance. Yeah. Which we're going to be recording. Uh, I think like six promos today. Um, after each promo, uh, Donald is probably going to pop out of his uh, booth because I'm going to want him to kind of like save that file in case that anything happens, we don't lose anything. Um, mm -hmm. so if you see him going out, he's not, he doesn't have a, a bathroom problem. He's just going <laughs> to save the file and then come back in and go to work. And, uh, and we'll walk you through the person, through the process and we'll, we'll, we'll kind of let you guys in out there on everything that's happening so that you don't feel like you're in the dark at, right. at any, at any point. So um, every take. Donald will slate every take. Absolutely. And I'm keeping this, track yep. of all the takes. Neon so post-it. Neon post-it to make sure that later on I know what he did and what I liked. Um, yes. Okay. So, uh, Donald, what would you like to start with? Like, what's a good, easy warm-up promo for us to start with? Uh, how about Accused? And this is kind of like a mystery, you know, dark drama um, are the specs. So he's going to read in that vein. And uh, uh, so whenever you're ready, Donald, why don't you go in with a first take and then we will redirect from there. Okay. Mm, will do. All right. This is uh, accused. Let me see. I'm locked in for freshness. Just want to make sure this is accused. Take one. First, decide who is the victim. Then, Solve the crime. Accused, Tuesday, 9, 8 central on Fox. Okay, good. I love that. I want, I would love to go a little darker with it. Okay. Bring the pitch down a little bit and give it a little bit more of a, of a darker drama rather than like an action, okay? Okay. Take two. Um, accused, take two. First, decide who is the victim. Then solve the crime. Accused, Tuesday, 9, 8 central on Fox. That was a great second take, and I loved it. That's exactly where it needs to be. So uh, let's just grab another one like that for take three. And I wouldn't even mind if you darkened it up I even a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, hushed it a little okay. bit. Take three. Accused, take three. First, decide who is the victim. Then... Solve the crime. Accused. Tuesday, 9, 8 central on Fox. Okay, so we're done. We're done with that, baby. Let's uh let's save. Um yep. and then uh All right, and you're... then we'll move on. Okay, so you're saving? Yes, I shall return. All Over right. Away. Here he comes. Donald James. I was guzzling, guzzling. Guzzling. It looks like you have a Moscow mule in there, Donald. Uh, What's we're gonna, we're None gonna of move. our business. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to go next? Well, we're gonna um, we're gonna go to SWAT because oh, I want to keep it in, in this in the drama world here. So let's go to SWAT. Yes, this is the show SWAT on CBS, and the specs here, so everybody knows out there, uh, is action drama intense. That's the style that we're going in for the read. So, and there's not a lot of words. So let's see how Donald does this. Whenever you're ready for take one. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. SWAT. Take one. They protect. They serve. SWAT Friday on CBS. <laughs> the CBS is very minimal. You know, CBS is not. So you have to really dive into the story. 
Exactly. Um, but the Justin story, Bieber. the story has three, that has four words. Plus the tag. I know. I love it. <laughs> that, that was, that was great, buddy. That was really good. It's an eight word story. Yeah. With let's, an do, let's do this. Cause I know that this is, you know, a, a little bit different. Let's do takes two and three back to back. Okay. Okay, because you're in the zone for this, and let's uh, see where you go. Takes two. If you can put me at ease about something, I was wondering if I was too lilted with the the top and bottom. Um, I don't think so. Okay, all right. I so think, I think you you were pretty much right in the zone of where you need to be. Okay, right. here we go. Um, SWAT take two. They protect. They serve. SWAT Friday on CBS. Um, SWAT take three. They protect. They serve. SWAT Friday on CBS. Beautiful. By the way, that I like. Mm -hmm. It was a little harder. You know, it really felt because this show, man, is is you know, there's a lot of action, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that was hard enough to go with what happens in the show. So more I'll gravitas. Have, I want to grab one more. Bit. Yes. What was that? Should we heat up the pace a little bit? And uh, yeah, and urgency, like. Heat up no. the pace intensity. A bit too. Yeah, a little bit more the urgency. And then... Like this, there's like a there's like a, a chase scene happening. There's urgency. There's pace. I understood this, Stacey. I got there that. You go. <laughs> very Thank you, Donald. used uh, sign language in voiceover. Uh, yeah. and speed up. Go take four. Okay, SWAT take four. They protect. They serve. SWAT Friday on CBS. Beautiful. I love that one as well. What do you Can think? I give you uh, three in a row on that last line? Sure. Okay. SWAT Friday on CBS. SWAT Friday on CBS. SWAT Friday on CBS. Give me a good SWAT. SWAT. Land it. Okay. SWAT Friday on CBS. One more. SWAT Friday on CBS. Here you go. Very, very good. We have plenty. Mm -hmm. um, and we have definitely a few takes that yeah. that are really freaking great. Um, and just so you know, watching the SOT, the sound on tape, Donald has that. So he knows what's happening between the lines. In this particular one, there's, you know, a gunshot and there's, you know, action. So you'll hear the SOTs in the final exactly. demo, but he's got, yeah. he's got that. So he knows what's what part of the story he's involved in. Oh, we got it, buddy. You'll be able yeah. to sleep okay. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always let him do some extra so he can sleep. Hey, you know? Oh, I love it. And then next, I think we're going to jump into this right here. The uh, Netflix Surviving Paradise. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's uh, it's like a uh, a trailer that migrated to promo. Yeah, exactly. Yep. It's like New Age National Geographic. Well, first of all, I'm going to let you do your thing. Okay. And then I'll redirect from there. So by the way, it's for people that know, it's called Surviving Paradise, a family tale. This is on Netflix. Um, and the specs are heartfelt, storyteller, warm, and there is a sense of survival. Surviving Paradise, take one. In this wild land, change is everywhere. Survival is earned. Family is everything. Surviving Paradise, a family tale, only on Netflix. Can we try, if this were a trailer, and mm -hmm. if it was more of like something that was maybe Disney, uh, still warm, family friendly, okay? Can we try a read like that? That was just a little, had a little bit more, a little bit more wonder. Well, yeah, when you say Disney, I'm thinking there's a little more lilting in the awe. Let's try that. Okay. In this wild land, change is everywhere. Survival is earned. Family is everything. Surviving Paradise. A family tale, only on Netflix. Am I on track with what you were thinking? Have some cool mm -hmm. stuff in there, too, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love that, man. Let's uh, let's go for a take four, a little bit more maybe in this direction, until you uh, until 
only up until you hit family is everything. And then after that, go more promo. I'm okay. Gotcha. Through, okay. Yeah. I was also concerned about being a little too measured on the top part because, uh, yeah, I was there's gonna the... say connect, maybe connect the thoughts a little bit. So, because this, this is going to be sweeping dramatic symphonic music. It's not going to have an SOT of like lions growling or anything. So maybe play with the pace, like what feels natural to you of like, maybe, maybe lines one and two are connected a little more. And then, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like play yeah, with do. the tempo a little bit. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is take four, you said, right? Yep. Okay. Surviving Paradise, take four. In this wild land, change is everywhere. Survival is earned. Family is everything. Surviving Paradise, a family tale only on Netflix. I, I really love that a lot. Mm -hmm. Give me three in a row on Surviving Paradise, a family tale only on Netflix and think warm, family friendly, but still promo. Okay. It's uh, tag. Yeah, just three I'm in a row, take four. Surviving Paradise, a family tale only on Netflix. Love. Uh, wait, you cut out for a second. What was your response? I said, that was it. Oh. <laughs> I said, I love it. It's on one. Let's you you still I, owe me two more. Two I owe you two more, man. <laughs> Let me pay. I got to pay you. Hold on a second. Yes. Hold on. Surviving Paradise, a family tale only on Netflix. Surviving Paradise, a family tale only on Netflix. I don't know if I lost it on those two. You did, but it doesn't matter because I have it. Okay. Uh, Go save. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's like, God oh, damn it. Darn it. Uh, okay, we're done with that. What are we going to? Welcome back, sir. How about Lopez versus Lopez? Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, NBC. yes. Comedy, sure. comedy, comedy. This is where the help of a producer is going to make a nice difference because I get it. This is, um, uh, when saying a good dad, it's sarcastic. They're kind of a dysfunctional um, duo. Yeah. Thing is how to convey that and um everything else i've got it i'm just uh want to make sure i i get that out there so of course you will absolutely let me know absolutely so everybody knows this is a new show on nbc called lopez versus lopez um george lopez and his real and life daughter Ryan daughter. lopez yeah. yeah uh this is a comedy uh the specs say comedy and with a little bit of sarcasm because, you know, the show is, like you said, it's very dysfunctional and it's mm -hmm. laugh out loud. It really, really is. So you kind of, if you could take on a little bit of the vibe of the show with your attitude, I think that might be cool. And okay. the, SOT, the SOT for this, you know, it's, mm -hmm. I think that the challenge with comedy is you want to be a part of the story, but you are not, you are, you are the guide to the joke. It's not about you overriding the comedy of the show. Yeah. So the SOT I picked for you for this is, you know, is pretty funny and you guys will hear it in the final. Mm -hmm. But um, so it's like you're you're kind of like setting up the joke and giving the information without exactly. over. Overriding. Yeah, so that SOT right there, and by the way, people that don't know what an SOT is, it just stands for sound on tape because uh, that's what they call it in the promo world. And uh, it's so just a little, right. It's just a little piece of dialogue from the actual show. Right. Um, so it's on the script. We're not going to tell you guys what it is yet because yeah. you'll hear it in the final. Yeah. Uh, but it's very funny. But Donald sees it. He knows what yes. he's doing. So whenever you're ready, go mm -hmm. for it. Have fun. Take one. Lopez versus Lopez. Take uno. George Lopez is a good dad. Laugh Out Loud Friday with Lopez versus Lopez next on NBC. Love. Maybe a little sarcasm on George Lopez is a good dad. You so know, I was trying to get out there. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a take two. Take two. George Lopez is a good dad. Laugh Out Loud Friday with Lopez versus Lopez next on NBC. Mm. What do you think? Is that too lilted? I want to be happy and 
but I'm also, I don't want to be too, you know, too much of an arc. Yeah. So. And also the only thing that I would say is I love the top part. I think you're really cool on the laugh out loud Friday with Georgia. You're getting a little announcer. Mm -hmm. E. Mm, okay, yeah. I know that's kind of a natural old school. For you. Yeah. Let's it's not that it's old school. It's just that, you know, for this, let's just throw it away a little bit more. Yeah. You know, laugh out loud Friday with George Lo with Lopez versus Lopez. You know what I mean? Throw it sure. away. Okay. okay. Take three. Here's take three. George Lopez is a good dad. Laugh out loud Friday with Lopez versus Lopez next on NBC. Wow. I was like an animal afraid to jump over this little tiny river. I, you know what? Donald, you're thinking too hard. It sounded like a little animal trying to jump over the giant river. No, this is the weird thing. It was a little river, but I couldn't jump it. Yeah. Don't, don't be afraid. Well, you said to make it seem like I struggle at some parts of this, right? Is my doing yes. okay? Oh, my God, you're nailing okay? it. You're nailing it. Yeah. And by the way, a little bit... Uh, if you put air quotes on is a good dad, you know, that might help. So George Lopez is a good dad. <laughs> you mm. know what I mean? Um, and and also I was gonna say is is you know, this is the dancer choreography in me, is the physicality of it. It's and it's mm. almost like the good dad, like talking out of the side of your mouth or raising your eyebrows or like the air quotes with the he's a good dad. Yeah, Bubble over your head. Yeah, right. So you're not judging. <laughs> You're not dissing him, but you are, we want to know what is your point of view, maybe yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. And the <laughs> SOT clearly shows yes. that he's a horrible father. Okay. Well, so he we has know an that. Alternative approach to yeah. parenting. Yeah. Let's go for a take four. Here's take four. George Lopez is a good dad. Laugh out loud Friday with Lopez versus Lopez next on NBC. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was great. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Definitely stuff we can use. All right. We're done with that. We're going to go with Jimmy Kimmel next, ladies and gentlemen. ABC. Okay. This is ABC. And the specs are upbeat, fun, really loose, um, and inviting. Yeah. It's mm. a party. And it's late night, so you got to get in and get out. Exactly. Like you got to get like, in bam, and bam, get bam, out. Bam. Just like get in and get out. Yeah. Okay. So whenever you're ready, uh, Kimmel, take one. Here's Kimmel. Take one. Jimmy takes on Google questions with Michael B. Jordan. Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight on ABC. That's a warm up. That was a good warm up, buddy. Warm up. You were in and out. Because mm -hmm. um, this is really not about you at all. These mm. these types of promos is more about like just Kimmel and the show and what's going to be on. Um, and you're just kind of like in and out. I love that. Let's go for a take two. Here's take two. Jimmy takes on Google questions with Michael B. Jordan. Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight on ABC. I love that. Give me a little bit of more of a billboard on Jimmy. Okay. Uh, okay. So Jimmy takes on da 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 da. You right. So you're 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 kind of hitting Jimmy a little bit more. Um, take three. Here's three. Jimmy takes on Google questions with Michael B. Jordan. Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight on ABC. That was good. Mm -hmm. uh, now that you that got the, too high. Not, no, it was not. Yeah. Now that you got the hang of that yeah. going, Jimmy takes on Google. Make sure Google, the is word Google is, is a, yeah, yeah. a little I slow. I heard the slur too. Google, right. Google got so, that question. So, so if I were doing it slow, <laughs> Jimmy takes on Google questions with Michael B. Jordan. And that's your big introduction to him. Boom. S-O-T. And then the last line, you can just throw it away. Was that three? Mm -hmm. Four. Take four. Jimmy takes on Google questions with Michael B. Jordan. Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight on ABC. Oh, wow. love that. Oh, that love was the great. Little, the little sing on live. That was fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, beautiful. We're done. Okay. You'll be able to sleep tight tonight, baby. Yes, I will. Jimmy. <laughs> with Jimmy Kimmel Live. Great job. So when I was um when I was looking at this ESPN piece. Yes. I was thinking, how am I connecting with this? I'm just, I'm thinking out loud. Yes. And sharing with you. If I told you, you hey, Donald, guess what? You are now the new voice of e, uh, of Formula One for ESPN. You're going to do all the promos for this net, for this network on that stuff. So you're the guy. 
You're the guy. Be the guy, Donald. So, so just be the guy. Be the guy. You are the guy. <laughs> uh, whenever you're ready for take one. Formula One, here is take one. Formula One is at its best on ESPN. All the races, all the highlights, all commercial free. Formula One racing only. Or Formula One racing only on ESPN. Beautiful. Okay. But I would like to get rid of the line all commercial free. I don't think we need it. Yeah. It starts sounding a little imaging, imagey on that. So let's get rid of that. Okay. Really? All together? Okay. Yeah. Here's Formula One, take two. Formula One is at its best on ESPN. All the races, all the highlights. Formula One racing only on ESPN. Way better. Mm -hmm. Already. Mm -hmm. Sounded legit. Mm -hmm. Um, I love that. Let's go for a take three. Four and by the way, I didn't miss the all commercial free. Neither did I. At all. I, I didn't miss it either. It's unneeded. Um, just be careful with the diction on the last line. Formula, formula One racing. racing. Okay, that has to be missing clear. the F a little on the on the set the first formula you nailed, but the yeah, the tag formula is a little soft. Okay, so let's go for a take three. Formula one take three. Formula one is at its best on ESPN. All the races. All the highlights. Formula One Racing only on ES. Formula One Racing only on ESPN. You you, you were thinking about it way too much on that. I, know, I know. I can hear I it. Know. Stacey can hear it. Everybody can out there can it. hear it. And you yeah, can hear it. It's stunk. Uh, oh my Donald, God. <laughs> Donald, reach in your chest, take your heart, and put it up here. <laughs> take your brain and put it out the side <laughs> of the booth. There you go. Just do I it. I wish it was that easy. That. Transplant. It was only that easy. Uh, take oh five. You got and, this. You got and this. And Formula One, it really just needs, you know, from Formula One tonight on an all new Formula One, that is our, we got to grab them by with just that word right there. Okay. Or you know what? That's going to be a great lead in. Uh, what did you say? Um, tonight. Something tonight? Tonight. I just said, yeah, tonight. Okay. You no, know, Formula One needs to sound like that. Formula One. Okay. Take five. Here's take five. Tonight, Formula One is at its best on ESPN. All the races, all the highlights. Formula One, Formula One racing only on ESPN. You know what? I kind of like the tonight. Mm -hmm. And I can get rid of it later. Yeah. Um, Because I think we already have yeah, it tonight. Commit, commit to the tonight. But commit to the, to it. Don't, don't, don't use it as a lead in. Put it in the spot. Okay. I just said tonight, right? Yeah, you said tonight. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was great. Take six. And here's take six. Tonight, Formula One is at its best on ESPN. All the races, all the highlights. Formula One racing only on ESPN. Be three in a row on the tag. Mm -hmm. Formula One racing only on ESPN. Formula One racing only on ESPN. Formula One racing only on ESPN. Oh, I like that, that guy. That was good. That was good, man. Freaking great. Gary sucks. Great. Hey, hey, hey. Me too. See, now we'll be able to sleep tonight. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Um, when everybody out here hears the demo coming up here in a couple seconds, um, you're going to hear choices that were made, not just based on the raw read that you would, oh, you know, the voice did this here, did that there. That doesn't matter. We need to capture the whole movie, the whole story, and make sure that everything has the vibe that we need it to have. Because that's what people are buying today. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't care that your diction is perfect on everything. And you know that. They, they, so, sometimes they don't even want you to be a great actor. You know, you just want you to be a real guy. So- I'm going, and Stacy and I, we're going for vibe, man. And I know for a fact, out of yes. all the takes that I marked down, that we have so much vibe going on, and everything is different. So I'm excited for everybody to yeah, hear this I mean, promo this, demo. Your demos are like the soundtrack of your career, you know? Like, mm. so it should be from, you want them to, first of all, obviously listen past the first three seconds. But you're recognizable in all of these and Chuck is such a master at making sure that all the different tones and timbres of you and style are in there. And so the choices that he's going to make 
are going to keep them listening to the end. And that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. That is the goal. And that you're I... able to recreate all these different essences of you. Excellent. Did I do okay in making it look like I had some issues in some of the places? To, to be really honest with right. you, you didn't you didn't have any issues, buddy. But you know, we <laughs> redirected you. There were a few mistakes. Thank you for not being perfect all the way through. Um, but it's and, uh, just to try things because some things hit and some things exactly. Like, it man. doesn't make it right or wrong. It's just the fact that you are able to take the direction yeah. and pivot. That's what is really yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're going for perfection. You're never going to hit it. Keep going. Perfection's if, boring. It, exactly. I always well, tell we can't decide. It's someone else's choice. So that's exactly yeah. it. That's but totally even out of our control. Us, as voice actors, you know, you need to think that, you know, if you're going for perfection, you're, you're not really shooting for what you need to be shooting. I always tell people, allow yourself to mess it all up mm -hmm. because from those mistakes comes the magic. And, and and when you allow yourself to just screw everything up, that's where you're going to find the beauty, right? And yeah. and these great takes. And we 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 did that. Yeah. I want to ask you. Got to show your how humanity. do you feel now that we've done yeah. freaking five demos? You know, uh, how do you feel? I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tired. No, I, I feel <laughs> I feel great. I feel great because um, I I definitely uh, trust the process with you and uh, it's one of the many reasons why I chose to go with you and um, yeah it feels good to to have it behind me now and I'm really eager to hear the demo man well the moment everyone has been waiting for mm -hmm. including you yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, we are now right. going to present from top to bottom Donald James brand new promo demo Hot off the press. Yes. Music, sound effects, the whole shebang. And here it is. They protect. We're going to find who did this. They serve. SWAT. Friday on CBS. Jimmy takes on Google questions with Michael B. Jordan. I wonder if you might answer a few of these. Let's do it. Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight on ABC. Tonight, Formula One is at its best on ESPN. All the races. All the highlights. Formula One racing only on ESPN. In this wild land, change is everywhere. Survival is earned. Family is everything. Surviving Paradise, a family tale, only on Netflix. George Lopez is a good dad. How about the time that you left me in the fountain in front of the casino and told me it was the kiddie pool? That's how you learn to swim and count change. Laugh Out Loud Friday with Lopez versus Lopez, next on NBC. First. Decide who is the victim. We all make mistakes. All of us. Then solve the crime. Accused. Tuesday, 9, 8 central on Fox.